the state government has withdrawn most of the nipa related restrictions in the containment zones of northern korikor district and announced that all schools and colleges located within the containment zones will reopen and normal classes will resume from tomorrow onwards however as a precautionary measure the public has been advised um, to wear masks use sanitizers and maintain social distancing the restrictions on public gatherings and crowding will continue to remain in place till 26th of october the nipa virus outbreak was declared in the district on 12th of september after six people were infected with this virus out of which two people had lost their lives and to take this conversation further i'm being joined in by dr anup kumar director critical care aster north kerala cluster Dr. Kumar, I appreciate you taking the time out and joining us here on Mirror Now. Let me begin by asking you this, of course, speaking about the current situation that we were telling our viewers as well. Restrictions have been eased, but in your opinion, is it safe to say the Nipah threat is over? The yeah, Nipah threat is almost over because usually uh, the spread is spread will happen maximum from the initial patient so the initial patient uh, died on 30th of last month and this all uh, uh, contacts have been traced and uh, they were in quarantine and their quarantine period is almost over that is 21 days quarantine period and uh, and uh, only uh, two contacts develop symptoms after that the second group of patients the transmission chances are very unlike uh, 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 very unlikely, and again, uh, 14 days are over from uh, that uh, period as well. So it is very unlikely that we will we will get uh, new cases, and it is uh, very safe uh, 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 in Kerala right now. Doctor, we also have a lot to learn from Kerala's uh, fight against Nepal. In fact, this crisis management currently is also reflective of what can uh, one can say that it's Kerala's robust public health system as well. yeah obviously uh, the the public health system is uh, uh, very uh, efficient here in kerala that is why as a clinician uh, when uh, when we had a doubt we have immediately communicated to the uh, the integrated uh, disease surveillance program team and the state health team so the that moment itself they have started the surveillance in that area they started screening all the contacts the contact lists are prepared uh, then again uh, the route map for that area was prepared and the containment uh, uh, quarantine all such uh, uh, the, the preventive measures were in place within few hours so the system is so vigilant and efficient right uh, but doctor of course uh, you know that is about the nipa virus but we're also witnessing the rise in uh, dengue cases um, so in your opinion what are the best measures one needs to take and could you also help us bust certain myths surrounding dengue for our viewers the dengue fever is basically uh, uh, like a, 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 a mosquito borne uh, uh, infection so the main uh, uh, the, the the main uh, area should be the uh, the mosquito control itself so the Uh, uh, the the public health system should act in such a way that they should have proper mosquito control measures, and the public also should be taught that how uh, they have to maintain their surroundings very clean. Uh, they should uh, avoid uh, uh, the the containers with uh, with hold which can hold water, etc. So that should be taught properly, and the clinicians also should be able to uh, pick up the cases easily with the uh, appropriate test and uh, a misuse of antibiotic. other uh, pain killers etc should be uh, also be uh, 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 carried out in such cases right doctor on that note i want to thank you very much for joining us here on the broadcast not only sharing us uh, sharing with us your perspective but also telling our viewers uh, what precautionary measures they should be taking uh, but as we talk about this situation as well remember there is a surge of uh, cases in dengue across the national capital but politics too is speaking with the opposition bjp targeting the aap government for failing to control the mosquito menace now bjp mp parvesh verma took a jibe at the kg government and said that while delhi chief minister promised to make delhi dengue free he has clearly failed to do so varma also said the bjp will hold a protest over dengue surge on september 29th now the delhi civic body which is now controlled by aap denied any cover up on its part and said that while over 3000 cases have been recorded in the first 6 months this year only one death has occurred due to the dreaded disease 
The MCD admitted that dengue is on the rise. A number of cases reported in September was the highest in the last four years. डेंगू पे आप लोग लगातार जो है निशाना साध रहे थे आम आदमी पार्टी गवर्नमेंट में कल जो है एमसीडी में उन्होंने माना है डेटा रिलीज करके कि एक डेथ जो है वो कंफर्म कर दी गई है इस पे आप क्या कहेंगे और क्या आप लोग प्रोटेस्ट भी करेंगे ध्यान होगा कि जब कॉर्पोरेशन के इलेक्शन में केजरीवाल बोलते थे कि हम दिल्ली को डेंगू को खत्म कर देंगे दिल्ली में आज इतना डेंगू हो रहा है आज उनकी गवर्नमेंट बन गई है तब वो डेंगू के ऊपर में कुछ नहीं बोलते हैं क्योंकि वो जो भी बोलते हैं झूठी बोलते हैं आप लोग प्रोटेस्ट करेंगे सर हाँ हमारी पार्टी प्रोटेस्ट करेगी Right now, if we look at the figures, they are at all-time high. Now, remember that the MCD had not made this dengue report public for six weeks. The last dengue report that came in was on August 7, and at that time, the total of dengue cases here in the national capital were around 348 in number. And now, when it has been released yesterday itself, it has crossed the 3,000 mark. At this moment, the total number of dengue cases in the national capital stands at 3,013. And MCD has also confirmed one death due to dengue here this very year. Now the MCD, you know, says that they are taking steps, you know, a lot of house, uh, you know, visits, inspections are being conducted by the DBC workers. Apart from that, you know, meetings with the hospitals are also being, you know, taken not just by the MCD but also by the health minister to see the arrangements for the dengue patient. But on the other hand, we are seeing that the opposition continues to attack, you know, the MCD and the mayor. In fact, yesterday when the session of the House was called, the BJP, uh, you know, the BJP councillor questioned the mayor over this issue because of that, the ruckus erupted in the House. Now, even today, you know, the BJP claims that the Kejriwal government has clearly failed in its promise to make Delhi dengue free. And on that purpose, uh, the BJP is also likely to hold a protest here in the national capital.